easy meal prep ideas, and easy recipes for healthy cooking for the week. On today's episode, we're going to do easy meal prep and easy recipes for healthy cooking for the entire week. If you're looking for simple recipes and easy meal prepping and meal planning, this is the video for you. Let's dive in. I'm so excited to show you today how we're going to do meal prep on veggies for healthy cooking. We're going to do meal prep for hard boiled eggs that we're going to convert into an easy deviled egg recipe that you can do that will be mouth watering. We're gonna do meal prep on some celery to make into an awesome dip that is very simple that you can eat on throughout the week. In addition, we're gonna do meal prep with some hamburgers, but there's gonna be an extra special surprise on those. You can easily convert those for healthy cooking to another type of protein. As with all of these different proteins I'm using, use what you have in your freezer or in your pantry. We're gonna do meal prep for some taco meat and also meal prep on steak. So the first meal prep recipe is gonna be using Fresh Jack's Brunch Life. They're everything in the bagel seasoning. I love this because it keeps for a week. It's one full cup of sour cream and one fourth a cup of the Fresh Jack's Brunch seasoning. You can get it in the affiliate link down below as with all the Fresh Jack seasonings. The next easy meal prep recipe that we're gonna make is a salad dressing. You're gonna use the Fresh Jack's Thai spice, but you could also use their Greek spice is really good too. Some avocado oil or some olive oil, depending on what you have. But literally this is a very easy recipe. You're gonna cut up three limes or three lemons, or you could use a half a cup of lemon juice or lime juice, whatever you happen to have in your pantry or your refrigerator. Keep this easy, keep it simple, you can improvise. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze out my lime juice and that is out of the three limes we'll make a half a cup of lime juice also while I'm doing this this recipe will last the full week in an airtight container in the refrigerator just simply shake it when you're ready to use it over your salad dressing or for your veggie dip but then I'm going to go ahead and pull out a half a cup of the avocado oil I happen to have you could also use olive oil if you have that in your pantry too very simple and then I will put in my spices in it which will be a fourth a teaspoon of the Thai spice from Fresh Jack's Fresh Jack Spice, I will link the affiliate links down below for you. I'm simply just gonna drizzle this over my beautiful salad, but the Fresh Jack's Thai seasoning and the Greek seasoning are one of my favorites, just because it's so unique, fresh, and of course, organic too. Tastes very crisp and delicious for this salad and a little different taste for me to get excited about having veggies for my meal prep throughout the week. This will go great with all of my dinners and my healthy dinners that I have planned as well. So again, just put that in the refrigerator and it will last all week. Next, we're going to go ahead and make some hard boiled eggs and deviled eggs. Six eggs I'm going to go ahead and put into some water on our stove and then I'm going to let it boil once it gets to a royal, royal <laughs> a rolling, if I can say it, a rolling boil. For 12 minutes, you're going to put a lid on it to make sure, see now it's, and now it's boiling. Put a lid on it, let it boil for 12 minutes, take the lid off afterwards and then you're going to go ahead and get an ice bath prepared. Yes, so we're going to have our, our Scandinavian eggs eggs just kidding but they're gonna go in an ice bath and they're gonna get sit in this ice bath after they come out of the boiling water to help take the eggshells off a little bit more easily so they'll go into the ice bath and sit in the ice bath for about three to four minutes this is a very simple meal prep recipe to do for healthy snacks healthy dinners healthy lunches because the hard-boiled eggs will last for five days in your refrigerator in an airtight container so put those in the, the ice bath I could probably use a little bit more ice in my ice bath but for three Three or four minutes and then you're gonna go ahead and peel the shells off it should be much simpler to peel the shells off with using the ice bath than if you didn't use the ice bath someone told me once you could put a fourth a teaspoon of vinegar into your boiling water I just didn't do it this time but so there I have all of my hard-boiled eggs I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up to make some deviled eggs off of them so some of them will stay hard-boiled eggs some of them are gonna be deviled eggs so I'm gonna go ahead and take if the recipe was six eggs, then I'm gonna use a fourth a cup of avocado in our deviled eggs just to get some healthy oils, some healthy fiber going in there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use, uh, take out all of my 
yolks that uh, from the hard boiled egg. So then it will be the yolks are separated from the egg white parts of it. I'm going to mix it all around like the hokey pokey with some apple cider vinegar. I'm going to go ahead and use one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar in there. Make sure you shake it to get the mother. Then I'm going to use one teaspoon of yellow mustard um, to give it a little twang taste in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a fourth a cup of mayonnaise. I love Duke's mayonnaise. Um, and then mix that all together. I thoroughly like to use a fork so it's not totally creamy that there's a little bit of chunks in it, but you could put it in a food processor to make it very smooth. You could use a piping bag. I just like to put my deviled eggs straight on there, but the piece de resistance for this meal prep recipe is the Fresh Jack's Brunch Light Seasoning. It's the everything bagel seasoning that goes on top of the deviled eggs. Oh my word, it makes it so crunchy and so good. It's my favorite thing to add on top of the deviled eggs, which are super filling. Um, good fats are in there and high protein too. All of the recipes that we're going to be using will be in an affiliate link in the description link below. I love Fresh Jack's organic spices. One, because of the taste. Two, because the organic spices. And three, a, a cause that's near and dear to my heart. Any purchase with their gift sets or two large bottles, Fresh Jack's organic spices will donate a meal to a child to help prevent hunger within children. I am so excited to support this incredible brand. And plus, it's amazing with cooking. So if you want simple meal prep, this is the video for you. The next recipe for our meal prep we're going to do for our healthy dinners is going to be uh, for cooking is tacos. You could use taco shells. I'm going to use lettuce leaves for a low carb keto meal. I'm using Fresh Jack's Smoky Southwest Grill Seasoning. I have my Ashire Organic meat. I've got my beef in there, one pound, and then I'm going to go ahead and use a fourth a cup of the Fresh Jack's Southwestern seasoning. That's going to be my taco seasoning. Yes, I've got organic seasoning in there, so I don't have to worry about having wacky ingredients in there. I know exactly what Fresh Jack's is putting on there, organic ingredients that don't cause puffery or inflammation with it, and literally just mix the taco meat around. This can also be one that I freeze later on in my freezer, first part of my meal prep, if we don't eat it this week with our weekly meal prep. So in terms of an easy recipe, it's literally just the Ashire organic beef and then the Fresh Jack's Southwest seasoning. I'm cutting up some avocado. So if I prepare this, I would use some butter leaf lettuce as my taco shells, but you could use regular taco shells. Make sure you wash them off thoroughly, of course. And then for the taco meat, this can sit in the refrigerator two or three days after being cooked for the weekly meal prep, or you could freeze it for later on in the week. I just added some sour cream, a little bit of avocado. Boom, that is my healthy dinner. How easy is this meal prep? And that taco meat tastes amazing with the fresh Jack seasoning. Next, we're gonna go ahead and make some steak. I've got my Ashire organic uh, ribeye steak there. And on top of it, I'm gonna, of course, use some seasonings from fresh Jack's to give it a little bit more flavor Flavor, a little bit more texture. Sometimes we'll make steaks that day, but for in terms of my meal prep, it will be for a day or two or three in advance. I do have Fresh Jack's Sunrise Cowgirl seasoning. I could use my Fresh Jack's Keto Chop House seasoning or Fresh Jack's Grill Master. Those three are my favorites for steak, but you could pick whichever one makes the most sense for you. I do like cooking on top with a uh, Lodge cast iron skillet. I flip it over, I'll put a little bit more seasoning in. Of course, you could put your seasoning in with olive oil or avocado oil uh, to marinate overnight. Next, we're gonna go ahead and make a whole bunch of burgers which can easily be frozen. I'm using the Ashire Farms organic ground beef. I love their meat because it's literally, it's from farm to table completely. I'm gonna use the Fresh Jack's Grill Master um, on top of my hamburger patties. You could mix, mix that in with some Worcestershire sauce. Just in terms of time, I didn't. I literally just sprinkled it on top of the meat while I was cooking it. Usually I'll make 10 hamburgers and freeze them. You could use ground turkey or ground chicken instead. Fix your protein of whatever makes the most sense. I did because this was gonna be our dinner. <laughs> I put some blue cheese on there and did make it a blue cheese hamburger. Again, it could be a turkey burger. Pick whatever protein you want. These things are interchangeable for meal prep. Make it what you have in your pantry. And again, I'm not using a bun, a uh, sans bun. I'm using my uh, lettuce wraps with some avocado to get some extra high fats in there.
That was our delicious healthy dinner too. It was so filling. I was so full afterwards. I'm going to go ahead and meal prep up some vegetables. I This huge cucumber was from a neighbor's garden, thankfully. And with the dressing that I made earlier with the Thai seasoning spice, you could use Greek seasoning. You could use a whole bunch of the fresh jack seasoning. Mix that around. Let that sit. It could sit for several days actually in there to make it really crunchy and really have those good oils along with the, the apple cider vinegar taste to them. I chopped up some extra cucumber too just to munch on three out the week with my meal prep. If you found this video helpful, make sure you smash that like button, click subscribe, and check out our playlist down below to see other incredible videos for meal prep. See you soon. Bye guys. Make it a powerful day.